Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss a pretty interesting video on how to remove background in multiple images basically at the same time or just do it automated. This is a request this by some random guy on uh, YouTube. But, anyways, uh, basically, it, it, removing background basically means to make that background, whatever it is, white, uh, black, whatever, into an alpha or a transparent layer so that it is see through. Yeah, basically before I get to it, first thing you gotta do is download Image Magic. The only way I know how to do it in bulk, uh, well, there's a couple ways, but this is the easiest way I found, and even this way it's pretty, uh, pretty challenging. Basically just go to imagemagic.org and download their program. Yeah, so here is imagemagic.org. I'm using Windows, it's clicked one of their binary releases. I click Windows, and I just download their latest one from uh, over here. So once you do that, it will just install. But the the thing is with this one, it basically the the program is very powerful. It's very powerful image editing software, but it involves using the command line. In my case, I'm using Windows 8.1, and it's just it's the same command line for all Windows. I think basically uh, notes on the command line. You can open it by clicking the Windows icon and typing CMD. I can click it at the bottom here. I just type CMD, there it is, and command prompt, and I drag it inside over here. Yeah, so this is the Windows uh, command line button. Also, just some more notes on this file paths with spaces require using quotes uh, or quotation marks like these ones here. Actually, it's uh, learn a bit further, it's not these exact ones, you got to use these ones here. Basically, uh, and you can also change a current path URL by using CD, which is change directory function. And also, you can copy and paste by using the right click options and can basically change appearance, uh, width, font, etc. by going to the top left of the setting. Click here, and you can go to properties and adjust layout, make it really wide, etc., like this, or decrease, etc. So, and also you can make, or you can create uh, folders using the make directory function or mkdir function. And also before I get to uh, basically my tutorial, I just want to go over, you got to be very careful when using special characters in the command line. For example, this quotation mark is different from this one. Thus, it's always important to type your code either in the command line or, or type it in a text file and copy and paste. So I, I prefer using a text file. It's because it's easier than using command line. Is this one th this way? You can always work back to this and easily modify whatever code and copy and paste. So do not work through Office Word, which is uh, this one here. And basically, the, the function from Image Magic that we will use uh, is the convert tool. And you can learn more about it from their side. Just click on command line tools. We'll use the convert. It basically converts image formats, resizing, blur, etc. It has a, a, a million functions. But what we're going to use is the transparent. So scroll down. Yeah, we'll use this transparent color function. I'll open a new tab right here. And transparent color right here. Basically, you set the transparent color. So any color you want, then it just makes it transparent or an alpha channel. And then you basically, again, yeah, basically the color argument, actually, I'm using the wrong function. It's the one over here. So this color argument. You could basically, and also, yeah, there's another part you could use a, a minus fuzz. Or I'm not going to go into that one, but this is to select colors that are similar to the one you want. But basically, if you click on this one, the color argument is in this format. Open new tab, and as you can see, you could write blue, and this is the way you could write it. You could either write blue or the code, and this is, I think, HTML code or this RGB format. Yeah. So, anyways, I'll just uh, I'll just go grab an image right now. Yeah, so a good image, I'll just go to a percent calculator.com. This is the calculator we have. So this one, there's an image here. It's hard to see it a bit if you just click view image or open uh, you open image, a new tab right here. Go to this. As you see, this is a PNG file and there's a greenish background. I'll just copy this image. Actually, I'll, I'll save this image. Yeah, I'll save it inside so somewhere here, photos. I'll call this photo one. It's a P so this is a PNG file, and you need to have a PNG file to have transparent or another type. Yeah. So now we have the photo over here. Let's say we had a, a lot of these. We'll just copy and paste and paste. So it doesn't matter. So we have four right here. But now if I open GIMP, this is a free Photoshop program. I want to know what color this is. You can just drag it inside here. 
and then click on this icon right here which is a color picker tool and then just click this and then if once you then once you click it you just go over here drag this and it tells you the HTML notation for this so I'll just copy and paste so now we could just uh, close this or minimize it yeah so now that I've it saved I'll drag in a text file this is what we will type in the command line to basically run that whole code so now just to rearrange all this stuff so there's a command line there's our photos and this is a text file so for for single photos we could just write convert and then we can write the path uh, this is relative to whatever directory you're in so we're gonna write photo dash one dot png this is doing it for one of them so you write minus transparent and this just replaces this color which is the one we copied and pasted over it which is the green I'll copy paste this here oh yeah so basically uh, I just copy and pasted it there and it's the same number here that we checked with GIMP so now then the output one is just wherever so in this case we write output slash photo da and then space one PNG so we could copy and, and paste this one but once again you got to get all the directories uh, sorted out so first thing we got to do here is or when you open it up uh, your command line it's like this but we want to change the directory so basically we go where these photos are so this one I'll click this button I can copy and paste so now what I could do is write change directory CD space and then you have to right click and paste so this is a giant directory but anyways if I make it bigger right here so the directory has changed we're working with C uh, dash whatever all this giant map to photos so now uh, we need to also make an output file because if you saw the text file here uh, we're outputting it inside an output uh, this is relative to where we are so wherever we are we're making we need to make this one first so we just go to over here drag this out make directory or I mean make dir and now we can just write output so we can press uh, enter or before I enter just show you this how it makes it so enter so we pressed enter there you go there's an output file being created which is pretty cool so now we can go to here copy and paste this inside so this one and in, in this case we need to have a file that has this photo uh, one photo space one here so there's this one right here and then it's going to throw it inside there with this greenish background gone so we just go to here I'll just again make it bigger and I just try it. I just I can just go right click paste so I would just paste this code into it there's this one your convert photo slash one it's a PNG etc transparent uh, and then it goes down over here so press enter and as you can see here there you go it the green has been removed and this is what I mean by a PNG so the background is whatever this is a bad example I guess but you could whatever you want to get rid of it so there you go there's the percent sign and all the green is gone but then if you use the fuzz tool I'm not sure how to do it but you can even remove something similar to the green like this grayish color there so close this yeah, and here I'll just go and delete this now we'll do it in batch and we'll do all of these and in this case we don't even need to know the names of them because as you can see from this code we're going to be using a for loop with a command line it will look something like this so you go for then percent g this is just a this telling you that it's a parameter that we're going to be throwing it in so for percent g in this we need to put a quotation mark if you have spaces so and then you put a bracket uh, star dash them dot png so if we have this part here so we just uh, basically this will check every PNG file in the current directory which is all of these photos and then it does it says do and then we just basically put this code in here but now we have to replace this name with this percent G which is a parameter right here so you with the you basically this is the parameter of the file name so do convert this name which is whatever current PNG file it's at and then it just makes it transparent on this color and then it outputs you gotta again put quotation mark output slash and now this is the file name the current file name and then it just basically does this until it, it reaches the end of every single one of these so we can just copy and paste this code in and then basically right here 
I'll expand this, right click, paste, and then I'll just, uh, before I press enter, so I'm gonna go to over here and show you, press enter. As you see, did all these uh, names right here, and, and then there's four, there's four made right here, which is pretty amazing. So first, if you had a hundred, a thousand, it would do them all right away, which is pretty damn amazing. But remember, this only works with PNG files, not JPEG. Um, also, it does work with uh, WebP. I mean, uh, you could do have transparency with WebP files, but I'll get to that in later videos. I'm not sure how to do uh, WebP with, with basically with this method right here. Well, but anyways. That is all for today. You could uh, download these exact notes. I'm going to put this uh, inside the description and, and also links to this exact file. I'll basically put everything in the description below. You could download even this notes and I've copied and pasted uh, that, that text file into here so you could view it if you were to download these notes as well. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.